today we will uh, introduce how to use uh, Delta Control IntelliWeb to do some uh, basic uh, testing while uh, use uh, Delta BSD uh, connect to the motor in uh, HVAC application. So uh, just that uh, we already mentioned uh, use uh, IntelliWeb, so you can uh, double click uh, this icon, then we will enter this page. So you can find over here the start command and the frequency command, it will be a uh, default auto. And later, actually, you will find this one is uh, uh, same as a uh, uh, Delta BSD uh, parameter setting. And then we go to the second uh, page of configuration. So you can fill in some uh, basic uh, uh, motor parameters like the voltage, uh, current, and uh, how many pole and uh, speed of uh, this uh, motor induction motor so basically you just uh, fill in this information uh, following the uh, motor nameplate and you can define the uh, maximum frequency and uh, uh, start uh, frequency and also the minimum and carrier frequency and here is the acceleration and deceleration time so the uh, unit is based on uh, uh, second and we uh, scroll down and you'll find here we have the driver uh, control source. So the source of a master frequency, and this is in auto mode and also the com uh, operation command auto. So this one is exactly the same as uh, Delta BSD parameter uh, 00, uh, 20 and 0, 0, 21. And here's for the manual setting. And later we will uh, switch this one uh, from auto to manual so we can do some basic setting and we can change the acceleration deceleration time then we can define some uh, digital uh, and analog input and output over this page then um, by path setting we can uh, do this one because later we will test uh, auto and switch mode uh, head mode so manual mode so we will uh, define this two into uh, no function and we can find extra uh, uh, easy VFD information like the device address and the firmware version and final one is the networking like the MAC address and the IP address okay. so now we go here so remember uh, the username is uh, admin and the password is what you set doing well install the software and because now we already connect the easy bfd card so you can find once uh, it uh, connects so you'll find a car and the project so we double click bfd so here you will find uh, this one is our uh, define in auto and configuration we can define this and the default value is uh, 460 so we can do, uh, we can change this value uh, back to default value and here uh, we will change this one to uh, easy VFD and definitely you can uh, the default will be keeping a uh, digital keypad same as this one but now we already uh, because I mentioned we will change our uh, user manual control so we here we will keep in a uh, easy VFD and this one already mentioned uh, we can find some uh, faults and uh, like a frequency DC bus and uh, some temperature information over here and here we can define the analog uh, and digital and by bypass mode here we keep uh, this two no function here is for networking okay so after that uh, let's go back here we set this one to manual and this one to manual and we set this one to uh, 50 hertz and then uh, select our start and we uh, press uh, set so later you can see this is the uh, uh, 
uh, frequency status and you will see it's uh, increased very slowly because uh, you, if you still remember we set the acceleration deceleration time here to 60 seconds so that means it will increase very uh, slowly so later we can try uh, reduce the acceleration and deceleration time okay maybe we stop first And we change the acceleration and deceleration time to 10 seconds. And remember to set. Okay, then we go back here. Now we start again. So you will find the frequency will increase more faster. So this is the tool that you can use to uh, test the motor uh, while uh, you already uh, build the connection between uh, in, uh, Delta Control IntelliWeb and uh, Delta uh, BSD. Thank you.